What's up everyone? It's your boy BF Linden here today. And today we have the first travel vlog since Budapest. So um it's been probably brown. You now it's 4.30 in the morning, so I don't know if maths will do me right, but I'm picking out on maps, so um this would better be right, but it's December 2017 the last one, so it's it's been about a year and a half since the Budapest vlog, so um we're back. We're back with some more travel, Linden. Linden, Linden Colony, Lindonians, let's do this. So, as you can see by that clock, it is... Can you actually see that? I don't bloody know. Right, um... So, as you can probably see by that clock, it is, um... It is about half past four, where I'm um, about to call an Uber to Birmingham Airport. Because we're getting it from Birmingham Airport. Uh, Birmingham Airport this time, because, um... It's close to home, it's cheaper, it's quicker. Oh, just anyway we can get to Bulgaria. I mean the flight is projected to be about 3 hours 30. So um, it's going to be one of the longer flights I've been on. Um, the flight to Portugal was 3 hours. But that was mainly through delays and the pilots being jackasses. Oh, Bruh. Um, but I think this flight is going to be about 3 and a half hours because if you think about it, we're just going across, you know, to the Black Sea. You know, we're going across from like Britain. Let's put a map on the screen right now. We're going across from Britain, across the Balkans, like over down to Bulgaria. <laughs> Come on, wait, man. It's Bulgaria, right? I've wanted to go for quite a while because it's such an enigmatic land. I mean, I've seen all the voice documentaries on it, and you know, it's quite interesting about, you know, what goes down there and things like that. So, um, your boy Linden's about to check it out for you. So, even though you're totally sure that I'm doing it, so you don't have to. Anyways, let's do this. Mm. I'm afraid I didn't manage to fog at the airport, but you know, that's not going to be the important bit. The important bit is Bulgaria, and we're about to head there. Probably can't see because it won't focus, but yeah, we're here. Going to Bulgaria. Nice. And so I can't really vlog much on the plane, so I'm gonna cut over to a travel sequence. Let's hope I have a nice flight. You know, get settled in really, you know, that's my drill really from now on forth. So you might see some footage now. We're 
about to go down the water slide. Hey, Dad. I know you get to see me. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. Now for this day, I didn't really get any more footage because it would have just been the same of me going in the pool over and over again for the first night. So tomorrow's going to have a lot more and you're about to see it right now. So guys, what the deal is today is we're going to find a marina because that has a lot of history I need to dock out the way this time. That's the first issue with this country. I'm six foot two, right? 188 centimeters. I literally have to dock for everything. If it exists, I'm docked for it. I'm literally the hunchback of Svetivlas. Do I hear a JDM? Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Top of his head. <laughs> Look at his lips. <laughs> I'm just filming this walking down the street. Don't want me. There's one thing I've also noticed, it's um, there's a lot of real estate here, as you can see like Florence Grand Palace, um, there's going to be another sign somewhere, yep. sales office, you know, number, MIG building invest, you know, there's investment opportunities here and hey. I'd probably want to buy a property out here at some point, you know, because it's cheap, as you can see. Visochad, Aishe, Kachestvo, Stroy. I'm gonna have to cut that a lot. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of property companies out here. You know, property is a big thing out here, and it's something I'm gonna finally a sign I don't have to duck under. Okay, fellas, so we're at the marina right now of Svetoblas, very nice place indeed. Um, it's a lot of sea, a lot of boats. It's essentially the Monaco of the East. But it's a lot nicer than Monaco, I find. You know, I wouldn't want to go to Monaco. It's too expensive and, you know, over-commercialized. Whereas this place, it's very nice, man. You know, I'm very much enjoying it. And there's a lot of restaurants around here. They all seem very nice. So um, I'll probably go and check those out once I've had a butcher's hook at the marina. It appears there's a lot of history to this kid. This is Vasil Levski. Um, he says, "Akos, akos pechelia, pechelia zal zal narod, akos zagubia, gubia, hag samo menesi." That's Vasil Levski. Wise words, Vasil. Move forward. Who's this dude? It's Christo Botiev. Tos koito pad. Partner boy Svoboda Toy Ne Umira. And that's um, Christopher Dieff. Um, he lived in Victorian times. Nice job. Diamond ah, What would that be? What? Right, first, what's going on with this guy's eyes? Right, see it. Shador uh, uh, Petofi. Um, I'm not even going to try. Not again. This is Benjamin Frank. No, it's not. This is Admiral for Fodor. This is Fyodor um, Fodor, Fodorovich Ushakov. Um, sorry, boy, 2017. Velik Premier Zavoinska Dobrest i Christiansko Blagochestie. But. Karuni Zatsiyata. Right, another admiral. Yeah. 
Admiral Horatio here. Nelson. Oh man, this is Admiral Nelson. He's a British dude. So she had a pommel host. He's Polish. Dolgasi. And this is Admiral Nelson. I'm supposed to put Admiral Nelson, a British Admiral, on a Bulgarian board. That is pretty awesome, I must admit. Okay then guys, so we are here um, in the old town called Nesabar. Um, and it's pretty ancient, I'm told. Look at these walls, man. Look at that. It's amazing. It's a bit cooler today. Um, about 30 centigrade and it's clouded over, so you know no risk of you know getting burnt to a crisp so you know yeah. Come on, that beach looks like something you find in Minecraft. It's massive! Anyway, oh, we're right at the monolith. It's, it's, it's massive stuff there of someone on what seems to be a gun. Interesting. What a stairs. So it turns out this place is a church by the name of St. John Aldurgitos, um, built in the 14th century, um, probably by the Thracians, I don't know. Um, it's been restored a couple of times, but it's really not had much done to it, but it's still very nice, I think. Okay guys, so just an update, um, I've just eaten here um, in Nesabar. Nice food, add some seafood, some mussels in fat, still quite nice, you know, so um, yeah, you know, full stomach and about to head back to uh, Svetivlas, um, so Nesabar's has been nice, it's quite, it's quite small but it's full of history, it's very nice, you can see behind me there are pillars and things like that, so you know, it's very nice, I do recommend Nesabar, stay here if you're going to stay anywhere in Bulgaria, it's nice and quiet here, it's a sleepy old town, Svetivlas is hard to go as sunny beach, that's just, the old place might as well just be drunk. So um, we're on a boat, about to head to Nesabar. Different travel method, more fun in my opinion. Let's do this. Alright fellas, one thing the website is that the Black Sea is probably one of the most underrated sea reports. Okay, there's a few certain signals. 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 Okay, Probably barely hanging on by holding your two hands, so uh, you know. Yeah. It's one thing though that I must do. Uh... The 
have Lyndon forever. Welcome to the Black Sea. Okay, I'm probably in it about all the height now, so I should really stop. Yeah, going underwater seems to confuse the focus a little bit. So the Lindonians, welcome to the Black Sea. Probably one of the best seas I've ever visited. Oh crap. Oh man. Okay, I need to go further to the water. Sure. This is going to beat the crap out of me. Exhibit A. Hey. Oh, let's just fly air for a bit, shall we, Lindonians? Let me show you under the water. It's really nice, really clean. Nice. Let me just find a good spot. Yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of seaweed. It's got fish smoke. An awful lot of shells and things like that. Kenan, would it be a vlog if I didn't look at the food? So, what I've got for lunch is um, Franz Josef Rauch, um, orange juice. Um, can't get that in the UK, it's blimmin' nice. But the focal point would be the Burgas Schlick. Um, it's a kind of sausage and it's very nice. It's, it originates from Bulgaria, so yeah. And also, there are crisps here that you cannot get in the UK that sell cream and dill. Very nice. It tastes you know, it's hard to describe them apart from sour cream and dill. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay lads, so we've just arrived in the Svetiklas um, clan centre. I haven't really showed you much of Svetiklas. It's only really ever been Nesabar. And you know, you haven't seen where, it, where we actually are, Svetiklas. So, um, where we actually are right now is um, Ulitia Tsar Simeon. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to have a little butcher's hook around the Sveti Vlas Centre and then eat at probably the best restaurant in Bulgaria, I'd go as far as to say, um, Vodopadi. I do recommend it if you do decide to come over to Sveti Vlas after watching Lyndon's Guide to Bulgaria, but, you know, that's at your discretion. That's your decision. If there's one thing that I've noticed about Bulgarian souvenir shops, they'll do anything for business. And by that, I don't mean, you know, shady stuff. I mean, they, let's say they appeal to every target market possible, you know. I went into a souvenir shop and, you know, what I saw, I'm not triggered about this because I'm not like your typical Generation Z person, but they literally had mugs of Adolf Hitler next to mugs of Joseph Stalin, you know, I get it, it's accommodating to the far left and the far right, but you know, if that happened in the UK, they'd get arrested like that. Oh yes, it seems like we have an epic gamer here. Of course we You guys have got to be seeing what I'm seeing.
Hello. Oh my god. That is a twinger. Well guys, I must admit, because not many people really like vlogging, that this vlog would be a bit boring, but I just found a Twingo. This just got a thousand times better. The area, the land where to defy every known law of physics. Yeah, someone's dropped sewage here. Oh, man. Oh. Trying to dodge the water like plague. Who knows what's in it? Oh, it looks nice now it's open. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Now this is the side of Bulgaria that not many people see. The shacks, the poorness, and over there, what do you see? You see Subway. Yeah, here, there's poverty. People don't live nicely. And it's a shame, man, because, you know, there's a real dichotomy between wealth. You know, you've got a nice house here, and then down here, you've got poverty, man. You know, it's just, it's a sorry sight, to say the least. You see though, all these travel vloggers, they go to Spain and Portugal and what they show us is an idealistic sort of version of foreign countries and travel but, you know, beyond Sar Simeon Ulitia, this is the reality here in Bulgaria. If you're going to go to Bulgaria, I don't want you to just think about the booze, you know, the partying. I want you to think about what goes on beyond sunny beach, sunshine of Prague and Nesobar and Sveti Vlas and Ulitia Salvat Simeon, you know. And it's what I hope to show you in my vlog, you know, the reality. The Holy Grail for Pare. So today I didn't really get much footage because it was the day that I had to go home so there wasn't really much for me to do or put on the vlog really. Um, we left at 9am, um, give a tank, due to a Jet 2 transfer so we arrived at the airport about two and a half hours early. Notwithstanding this, it was quite a rush, you know, I had to get through security like quite quickly, there was hardly any time to eat, go through duty free and if there's one thing that's remarkable about Burgas Airport, it's Blimmin' tiny! There are only like 8 gates, in comparison to about 50 at Birmingham. And I thought Birmingham was small, jeez. Last through Pobodia and that to where we are here right now, Bodegas Airport. So um, we're about to head back to Birmingham. Um, but the vlog doesn't end here, there's the way home and all of that. Even though the guide to Bulgaria ends here, the vlog certainly does not. So you know, I will give you guys footage of taking off because it didn't last time. So um, look forward to it. seeing Bulgaria and seeing me raising Bruh. Sputnik 
Anyway, thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video. See ya!